This new medication. This new medication is a new antibiotic and it is a very strong antibiotic like Ceftonir, which is a third generation cephalosporin antibiotic. Good evening everyone. Happy Monday. I love your melon patch was like all the way to the side. Weird. Yes, I said happy Monday. I said good evening. Why? It's 10 o'clock at night. Why am I starting the vlog at 10 o'clock at night, you ask? I've been a busy ass person today. <sighs> Class was uh, from 12 to 1. 50 this afternoon then after that I was at my rescue company getting stuff ready for the elections doing emails paperwork stuff like that for this week then Pharmacy because why I still feel like junk Pharmacy is this new medication this new medication is a new antibiotic and it is a very strong antibiotic like Ceftonir, which is a third generation cephalosporin antibiotic. Um, in English, what that means is it's not penicillin. It's not um, a sulfa drug. Why? I had serum sickness to penicillin, so I can't be on any penicillin for a year, maybe, maybe two, depending, because if I take any more penicillin, my body will react to it and basically the reaction is full body stiffness, muscle rigidity, muscle failure, then organ failure. With sulfa drugs, which are another type of antibiotic, my reaction to that is straight up anaphylaxis. I, uh, Cliff Notes version of that. I was working in my job. I was in London on sulfa drugs after I crashed my bicycle once and I had an infection happening on my leg which actually has a pretty nice scar up my uh, right thigh and I think I have one on my right elbow too. Cliff Notes took sulfa drugs, woke up in, a, in the hotel in London covered in hives from my neck down. About five hours after that I started to not breathe because I had taken another dose of the medicine. With sulfur drugs, it takes a while to build up in your system, but once it gets to a therapeutic level, that's when I went into anaphylaxis. Ended up spending four days in a London hospital. Fun. So yeah, can't have sulfur drugs because the stronger the sulfur drug, the faster the reaction, and I really don't feel like sticking myself with an EpiPen. So, yeah. And the last seven days I've been taking Leviquin, and before that I was on Doxy for 14 days. And I'm still coughing up yellow and brown junk, and I feel like shit. So, last night, my doctor and I were texting, and we texted at like a weird, really odd hour, surprisingly. Like, I need to pull up the time that we were texting, because when I tell you it was a weird, odd time that we were texting yesterday, it was a w midnight, yeah. Midnight to 12.30 in the morning, we were texting about medicine, yeah. But it's kind of cool that I have that relationship with my pulmonologist that we can text when I don't feel good to prevent me from going to the hospital. So like that's a huge plus because I really hate the hospital. I really, really, really hate the hospital. Like, I like the nurses, I like doctors, I like the people, but I hate hospitals. But I am nice to the people who work in the hospitals because, I mean, that's kind of what I've done my entire life, and for the most part, even volunteering and stuff like that. So, uh, it is what it is. But starting the stronger antibiotic in the morning because I've already taken antibiotics today. I'm on a daily antibiotic that's 
used more for prophylactic and anti-inflammatory so that and this one requires me to use or eat take it with food so and it's twice a day not once a day so yeah I can't win sometimes but hopefully this one will uh, work it's much 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 stronger than Levaquin and the other ones that I've been on but the problem is is uh, we think that I'm building resistance to the Levaquin and Doxy because I'm always on it so yeah time to up the game but with that that's kind of the update for today I'm stupid tired so I'm planning on going up these stairs that I'm sitting on here and getting glorious amounts of sleep so with that I'm gonna say thank you all for watching as always have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow uh -huh.